Hola, ¿cómo estás? Yo estoy bien. ¿Cómo te llamas? Yo me llamo Alexino Wilson. ¿De dónde eres? Yo soy de Perú. Today is our last lesson of the week, which is exciting. We're going to put a lot of stuff together today. Um, first things first, what was our bonus question yesterday? It was, why do we speak English? Yes. Why do we speak English? And I want to add on, what did the people who lived here before speak? So we speak English here, you are right, because we are not native to this land. Some of us might be, some of us might not be. Um, some of us might have a small amount of Native American blood in us, but most of us don't. Most of us are not native to the land on which we are living. The same way that the Spanish, the Portuguese, and the French all came over from where they were living and conquered, took over, murdered a lot of people, in these lands, the English, or the British, um, were looking for freedom. I, a lot of you said that, and that's really good. We're looking for religious freedom. We're looking for freedom from underneath the king. So they also left England, where they were living, and went and discovered a new land called the United States of America. That's what they named it. And there were already people living here. Native Americans who did not speak English. English is a foreign tongue. The original language spoken on this land is Native American languages. I mean, there's uh, lots of different tribes that lived here. Shawnee lived here. The Iroquois lived here. The Cherokee lived here. Countless, countless, countless groups of little people lived on these lands. Um, look around. Now, I said before, La, um, Central America and South America are now a mix of Europeans with native. That's why um, a lot of them have a darker skin color because the Europeans are more typically a lighter skin color. Native Americans are more, are more typically, it's, it varies, but they're more typically a darker skin color. And so now um, there's a lot of people with a darker skin color in South America, uh, Central America, because of that mix. Look around you now. Do you know anyone that speaks the native tongue, the language that was here before the English came over? I don't know anyone. Do you know anyone who is Native American? And I don't mean they have 0.5% of the blood in them. I mean they are Native American. They know their grandparents, their great-grandparents, their great-great-great-grandparents lived on this land, hunted, gathered, built teepees. I don't know a single person. I don't think that you know a single person. Because when the English came over to search for their freedom, they didn't mix with the people who were already here. They either fought wars with those people and killed a lot of them, or they forced them to move to other parts of this country where now they have small pieces of land. Before they had the whole country, now they have small pieces of land. Because we are the colonizers. We came over here and we took over their land. Um, we didn't always handle it the best way. We didn't always treat them with kindness. Um, it's a tricky situation. So that is why we speak English. That's why the language that was originally spoken here is only exists in little tiny pockets. Um, it's interesting how, langu how languages come and how they change um, and why people move to different parts of lands. Okay, so we're going to do our lesson for today. Good job, by the way. Um, most of you got that bonus question right about why we speak English. So today we're going to combine some things. Get out your notebook. We're going to take some notes. We're going to write some sentences. We have three questions that I want to talk about. The first one is, ¿Cómo estás? This is the first question that we learned together. I want you to write a full sentence answer for me. Tell me, how are you? ¿Cómo estás? How are you? Look back in your past notes. Write me a full sentence answer. The next thing that we learned, ¿Cómo te llamas? 
Write this down. Como te llamas? Question marks, accent over the O. What is your name? I want you to write me a full sentence answer telling me what your name is. Okay, you have written two questions and you have written two answers. The third one is the question de donde eres? Where are you from? Three words, de, donde, accent over the O, eres, E-R-E-S, question mark, question mark. I want you to write me a full sentence answer to de donde eres. Now, you cannot say, or sh you can, but you should not say, yo soy de América. Shouldn't say that. What did I teach you? Go back and look at your notes. I did not teach you to say yo soy de América. I taught you to say yo soy de los Estados Unidos. Why is that? Well, América is America, and if you think about it, there's a lot. There's a lot of America. There is um, North America, which is a continent. North America is not where we, well, it is where we live, but North America is Canada and the U.S. And sometimes Mexico is considered, I think North America is, is the U.S. and Canada. So North America is not just the United States. Central America, again, you hear the word America, is all those countries that we learned from Central America. And South America, hear that word again, America. So we can't really say that we're from America because it would mean what, it, it leaves a lot up for question. Are we from North America, South America, Central America? What part of America? America is really big and America has a lot of countries in it. So we are from the United States of America, Los Estados Unidos. That needs to be your answer for this question. Okay, so you have written three questions and you have written three answers. Now, we're gonna combine some more information that we have learned. Um, put a number one. We're gonna write three sentences about ella. We know that ella means she, okay? Um, so let's ask, how is she? Write the question, como esta ella? How is she? You write the answer. She is, and then give me an emotion. Look back in your notes, how do you say she is? Now careful, there are two ways to say she is. Ella esta or ella es. But when you're talking about how she feels, you're gonna use ella esta. Ella esta and then an emotion. Let's ask another question about her. Como se llama ella? Como se llama ella? Write this question. Como se llama ella? What is her name? Write an answer. So then it should start with ella. Look back, how do you say what someone's name is? Ella, hint. The answer is often hidden in the question. Ella se llama, then put a, la a Latino, Hispanic name that I gave you the list of. And the third part of number one, yes, that's right, we're still on number one. The third question for number one, we're gonna ask where is she from? De, donde? S A -Y -A. Write this question. Where is she from? And write the answer. She is from. Now, again, there are two ways to say she is. Ella está or ella es. The question is sometimes hidden. The answer is sometimes hidden in the question. Do you think we're going to say she is with ella está or she is with ella es? Okay, now don't forget the word from. From is day. She is from, then put a country. Okay, we wrote three questions and answers about her. Let's do number two. We are gonna write three sentences and answers about our friend L. He is L. We're gonna ask the question, donde, no, not donde, sorry. Como. Esta el. How is he? 
write me an answer. How is he? He is happy. He is sad. He is excited. What is his name? Write the question. Como se llama él? Como se llama él? Write me an answer. His name is El Se Llama, and then put a, Latin, a Hispanic name. And the third question for him is, where is he from? De donde es el? Write the sentence answer. He, you know how to say he, is, you know how to say is, from, you know how to say that, but a country. All right. That was number two. Now we're going to do number three. Write a number three. Three questions about the cat. Como esta el gato? How is the cat? Write that question and write me an answer. The cat is, and then an emotion. How do you say is? Is it el gato esta or el gato es? Look in the question for the answer. Next part of number three is what is his name or what's the cat's name? Yeah. Como se llama el gato? Como se llama el gato? What's the cat's name? Write the cat. Its name is, don't put this into Google Translate because it will not work. The cat's name is, put a, put a Hispanic name. And we have, where's the cat from? De donde es el gato. De donde es el gato, write the question. Where is the cat from? The cat is from put a country. Remember, from is the word day. Remember, look in the question for the answers. Also, all three of these subjects same, share the same verb, right? So your answers for all of these should look pretty similar. Okay, well, that's actually it for today. Um, it's been a pleasure teaching you this week. I hope you have a great weekend. And for those of you who do not have your Spanish folder or binder, get that. For those of you who still haven't turned in packets or who are still getting work done, um, please use Friday to make that work up and get it turned in. Have a great weekend. Adios.